What's up, everybody? It's your boy Opperman Fitness, aka hashtag Gains. And today's gonna be an honest review. Re today's gonna be an honest review video where I review a product and I give my motherfucking honest opinion on it. Today's product is gonna be MRE Bar. This is the oatmeal chocolate chip. Let's go ahead and get the thumbnail. Yeah, you got some thumbnail action. Before I start this video, make sure you guys subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Help me out, help me out. Subscribe, share, and like this motherfucker. Well, I don't like it because you don't know if you like this video yet. Make sure you guys subscribe. You will love my videos. I promise you on that. Um, all right, before I start this video, though, I did get this from my guy at work. He was like, man, uh, I got the MRE bars. The only problem, motherfuckers melted, and, and then it... Uh, he left in his car. He's like, you want to still try them and shit? He's giving them to me for free because uh, me and him are cool. We give each other free shit all the time. And I haven't tried these motherfucking bars. So I was like, yeah, man, absolutely. The only problem is, is it's been melted and then fucking cold. Or not cold, but like re reformulated back to... You can just tell it's been fucking melted and, and, and shit. So I hope that doesn't change the taste of this bar. Obviously, MRE bar is um, all real food sources. So, um, you know what I'm saying? It's a meal replacement bar, real food sources, 20 grams of protein, oatmeal chocolate chip, 260 calories in the bar, 9 grams of fat, 5 grams of saturated fat, 3 grams of monounsaturated fat, 1 gram of polyunsaturated fat, 29 carbs, 3 fiber, 6 sugar, 5 grams of added sugar, 20 grams of pro of protein. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, the protein sources are real sources. So you got beef protein isolate, salmon protein, uh, chicken protein, egg albumin, albumin, brown rice protein, pea protein. It's got rolled oats, carbohydrate, dehydrated yam, dehydrated sweet potato, coconut water, dehydrated blueberries. <clears throat> the list goes on of all real ingredients, right? So <clears throat> you're probably wondering, well, that's all great and all, but what the fuck does it taste like, right? I'm asking myself the same motherfucking question, and I'm hungry as fuck. So I'm opening this motherfucker up. Obviously, don't pay any attention to the cosmetics. Your bar will look probably better than this. This looks like a fucking... This looks like a beat up fucking... Man, it just looks beat the fuck up. But basically, it's just a chocolate bar. It's got the little crunches on top, it looks like. Let's go ahead and try this motherfucker. All right. Interesting. Um, <clears throat> it is different. Hmm. You can. How much is fucking spit? You can tell that there's like oats and all real type of ingredients and shit in here. Um. <clears throat> Hmm. I mean, it does taste like almost chocolate chip. I will say that everything in here is, is real ingredients or whatever. But for some reason, <clears throat> I don't know if it's because this bar's been melted or whatever. But I think the chocolate <clears throat> or something. <clears throat> damn. Um, I could taste some kind of like. I could taste a protein taste. Very mild. It's very in the back when you're chewing. But since these are all real ingredients and real protein sources, I don't know what what's causing me to taste that taste. Hmm. I mean, it's it's nice and it's it's enjoyable to chew. The mouth feels really good. It, it tastes, it's almost, it's almost like a glorified chocolate chip, um, like granola bar, like a coated granola bar, but like softer. I want to say the best way to describe it is a granola bar, a, a, like a chocolate granola bar.
it's a good taste but there is like a little bit of an aftertaste and I don't know if it's because it sat in the car for a day maybe some shit got fucked up see the sun was beaming on it you know what I'm saying I don't know I didn't get it fresh and shit but as far as the taste it's pretty much a fucking granola bar like give or take some flavor here and there but for the most part, if you like chocolate, chocolate dipped uh, granola bars, you more than likely like that. Um, I absolutely love the fact that it's all real food source. I think sometimes the industry gets caught in this whole, you know, <clears throat> who's trying to get the cleanest, the macro friendliest, and let's take health all out of it, right? Well, this industry is all about either getting shredded or being healthy it's like so which one's actually healthy you know what i'm saying i mean you can get a bar that tastes amazing and it's not really the healthiest because they put all kinds of crazy shit in it to make it you know taste good but it's a lot of its chemicals and this and that and i think a lot i like a lot of those bars but i love the fact that someone's trying to do something different and using real sources um which obviously makes the product more cost more these bars are pretty fucking expensive um I want to say they're around like three dollars i don't know do your research but uh i like the fact that they're trying to do something different and um overall it's a pretty good bar i like what they're doing the taste is pretty good um i wish i had a fresh bar to make a more accurate observation on it but from what i could tell it is still a good bar um so go ahead and uh make sure you guys uh if you guys want to try them out Make sure you guys go to tigerfitness.com. I cannot remember the price. I wonder, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's around three bucks a bar if you buy them. Maybe two fifty. dollars I'm not really sure. But I do like the approach. I like everything about it. Um, this video is already seven minutes long, which is way too fucking long for a review video. But I did some, I did some talking and it's seven minutes long, so fuck it. But uh, I'm going to give this bar like an eight out of ten. I feel like it's a really good bar. It's just... Uh, I mean, you got to factor in all the, the uh, you know, real ingredients, this and that, and the overall what, it, what it's trying to do. I'm going to say 8 out of 10. I like it a lot. I just, uh, I just wish it tastes a little better. Um, but at the end of the day, oatmeal chocolate chip, I mean, it's fucking pretty much oatmeal chocolate chip. I mean, not much you're going to do about it. Um, and the little bit of aftertaste kind of turned me off just a little bit. It's not like a bad aftertaste. It's just something that's a little bit different. You can taste it. If you guys don't taste that taste that I'm talking about, maybe it was because of the sun and all this other shit. So it is what it is. At the end of the day, I still liked it. So if you don't have that taste, you might think it tastes a little bit better than that. But it is a good product, and that's me pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for the support as always. Let me know what you want to see next. And if you don't like it, do fucking mad subscribe, share, like, and comment below. Scroll, but don't troll. And don't hate me because I'm fucking swollen. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media. I'm in fitness, Instagram, I'm in fitness, Facebook, I'm in fitness, Snapchat, I'm in fitness. And don't forget to fucking like my band, Divide and Dimension, on Facebook. All that shit's in the description box below. And also, like I said, in case you need some supplements, make sure you guys use my affiliate link, which is also in the description box below, to shop all of your supplement needs. And I will check you guys later. Yeah.